Have faith in the giver of life and let life be free. Let us rise up and praise God's holy name. Let us rejoice and look to the day when all of God's children shall say, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. in presenting to you the moral leader of the world, the standard bearer of liberty's cause, the drum major in the music of freedom. I present to you this day the bright morning star During the long years when we were in prison, you did not forget us. Neither did you abandon our struggling people. You took up the mission of promoting justice and peace. We salute you in the words of the prophet Isaiah, we have risen up as on the wings of eagles. We have run and not grown weary. We have walked and not fainted. And finally, our destination is in sight. We have committed ourselves unequivocally to opposing white racism and black racism. We reject sexism and have pledged ourselves to affirm <laughs> and we have pledged ourselves to affirm and promote the equality of women in a new South Africa.
We enter now the final phase of our struggle. The structures of apartheid are crumbling. The old order is crumbling. But the age of freedom has not yet dawned. We thank you for your support in saving a nation, in helping to build a non-racial society. It is not likely that we would again be traveling to the United States. We are turning 87 in July. <clears throat> People of our age should not be traveling over oceans. <laughs> we are here at this church where we have been received on a number of occasions in the past to say to you that our people and our nation will never forget the role you played in our liberation and in the building of our new nation. There is so much more that needs to be done as we reconstruct and build our nation. But we are here in Harlem today not to ask of you. We are here to pay tribute and say thanks to those who gave us when they even had nothing for themselves. We pray that a better world for all shall be built in that spirit, that it shall go well with the South Africa you help bring about, and that it should go well with the society you strive to establish here in the United States of America, and that the leadership your nation gives in establishing a better world for all shall be inspired by values of sharing, cooperation, consultation, and coexistence. Thank you.